confident people are successful people. We love to be around confident people. They're usually clear in their goals, they're consistent, and a little charismatic. There's a difference between being charismatic and being likable. Forrest Gump was likable, John F. Kennedy was charismatic. Charismatic people get us to move from one place to another, and before you know it, we're feeling good about ourselves. One of the consistencies of a charismatic or confident person is they don't tell themselves negative stories. They put positive thoughts in their head. That seems really obvious, doesn't it? I mean, think about it. We usually have enough people in our life that tell us the negative things on how to do something different or how we fell short that why in the world would we do it to ourselves? But the truth is, thousands of times a day, we play that message in their ear that says, you're not enough, could have done things better. Let me give you an example of just how that plays out. I'm a business consultant. People hire me to help them run their businesses as effectively and efficiently as possible. And last year, I had three doctors all living in the same town that got the same phone call. The Better Business Bureau called their front desk and insisted that the doctor do the returning of the phone call, that they could not share this information with the front desk person. So each of these three got a note on their desk that they looked at the lunch. The first doctor, who's my most successful doctor, looked at the note, picked up the phone, called the phone number, and found out just what the Better Business Bureau needed from him. The second doctor, who's not as confident, doesn't do as well, looked at the message, took it home that night, read it to his wife, asked her what she thought might be the problem, and went in the next day. He took the pink slip with the message out to his car called the Better Business Bureau on his lunch hour and found out what that was about. And the third doctor, my least successful doctor, he took the pink slip home, didn't talk to anybody about it, waited until Friday when there was no patients there and no staff, and went through every single file of patients that possibly had a complaint, and then called the Better Business Bureau. Now, all three people got the exact same answer, which was the Better Business Bureau was having a marketing campaign, and they were trying to enroll more people to become members. I would tell you that not one of those three doctors eventually joined, but what really happened was the impact that that phone call had was different for each doctor depending on their confidence and success. Think about it. Throughout the day, which doctor was the most charismatic with his staff, with his patients, and with the people at home that loved him. The one that said, let me pick up the phone and call, or the one that worried about it for five days. Being charismatic, being confident, it's a choice.